Hello, my name is James Lincoln. I'm a science teacher, and today I'm going to tell you how to do experiments with the pH scale. Now, before you start using pH paper, you can actually get a general understanding of what something's pH is by using just red and blue litmus paper. For example, if I test the lemon juice with this blue litmus paper, you can see that it turns pink or red. And that lets you know that the pH is low. It's an acid. It has a pH lower than 7. We don't know exactly what the pH is, but we know that it's lower than 7. If I test this baking soda with the red litmus paper, it turns it blue. That means that the baking soda is a base, and it has a pH greater than 7. We don't know what the pH is, but it is greater than 7. Now, what about salty water? I'm going to test it with the blue litmus paper and it doesn't have any effect. The salty water just leaves it blue. So, I'll now test it with the red litmus paper. Salty water, also no effect. It appears that the salty water has a pH of 7. It is neither an acid nor a base. The same thing happens with regular water. One more important test is, what if you test a base with blue litmus paper? It doesn't do anything because bases don't change blue litmus paper. The base is going to be either 7 or above. One of the best ways to know whether something is a strong or weak acid or base is with pH paper. pH paper tests the pH and actually gives you a number so you know how strong the acid or base is. Consider, for example, borax. You probably don't even know that borax is a household cleaner and you don't know what its pH is, that's for sure. So let's test it by using a pH strip. You dip the strip in, and then you can check right away. This one seems to have a pH of 9, a mild base. Consider now hydrochloric acid, stomach acid, which you can buy at the hardware store labeled muriatic acid. If we test it with the pH strip, it turns red, deep red. That must mean it has a pH of either 1 or 0, a very strong acid. In fact, it's one of the strongest acids you can find. Now what about soda pop? If you check a soda pop, you wouldn't expect it to be a very strong acid, hopefully not. And it seems to have an acidity or a pH of about 4. That's a weak acid. You'll notice that I've put a lot of my chemicals in these little dishes. You can also use laminated paper or just do it on the tabletop. Around the house, it's easy to find a lot of strong chemicals or even weak ones that can be acids or bases. Have fun, but be sure to wear safety goggles when you're working with strong chemicals. Thank you for joining me, and I'll see you next time.